So this year, Clinique has been on a roll introducing lots of newer products. Their clearing jelly, which just came out recently. They've also got another version of this for sallow skin. They have came out with their new Moisture Surge Foundation, their BB Gel, uh, one of my favorites, their Moisture Surge Lotion. And when they recently introduced this, uh, one version for dry skin, one version for oily skin, I thought I had to pick it up. Why not? It's Clinique. They're on a roll. They've been doing a good job. They haven't been disappointing me so far. But I must say, it was not as I, what I was expecting. I, when I got this, I was expecting something like this. Something like this, a Milky Meisler cleansing water. That's what I was expecting. And when it came, just packaged like this, no box or anything, I was shocked when I opened it up and saw that. It's not a milk. It's not a Meisler water. It's a lotion. This is just, I don't know, should I be that surprised? Maybe I just didn't read the directions or the about page good. It's a micellar lotion, which brought me to flashbacks of this product, which you can see I totally loved because it's been in the very, very back of my cabinet for like four years. I used it twice. They're two-in-one cleansing micellar gel light makeup remover. They have a lot in common. And what they have in common is I'm probably not going to use it a lot. This one is so similar to this product. Just the texture and how you use it even. There. There's a big blob of it. That was too much. But anyway. So it's not like a micellar water. Like micellar waters were really invented or created to help uh, with people that had like hard water or not very clean water at home so you could cleanse your face with their micellar water which wasn't hard or didn't have chemicals in it so i was kind of expecting that instead i got this which the directions of it say um, cleanses skin of impurities and removes face lip and eye makeup in one comforting yet refreshing step gently massage over dry face lips and eyes tissue or rinse off i don't know like if i'm already gonna rinse something off I don't necessarily know I want to smear this thick cream all over my face and then rinse it off because uh, I will say after using this only a few times, my sink is really slow and I have a feeling it's coated with this cream. I mean, it does do a decent job like removing most makeup, like foundation, sunscreen, it may, removes no problem. Mascara, waterproof mascara, it has issues removing. A lot of micellar water cleansers have issues with it. I, I, It's not a big deal. But I don't know if I'm just going to smear this lotion all over. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't expecting it. I was expecting something more liquidy, milky. But, I mean, it's not a bad product. The ingredients are pretty good. I mean, they're not the most exciting ingredient list. It's Clinique, but, I mean, there's no uh, drying alcohol that I see. There's no fragrance. Uh, I've got the typical Clinique ingredients. Barley's always in there. I got cucumber, cetera, alcohol, vitamin E, algae. It's just not what I was expecting. So, I guess that doesn't necessarily make it a bad product because it's not what I was expecting, but... I just thought I should do, do a video because I know a few of you guys mentioned this to me. Just in case you guys were thinking you were getting something like more like this. You're getting something more like this, which I don't know. It's This one's old. I should just rehome it or use it, but I don't know. If I'm going to smear a cream all over my face, I'd rather just do a mask, rinse it off, and go with the rest of the day. But anyway, it's not a bad product. It does remove light makeup some eyeshadow and a little bit of mascara and it does a great job with lipstick but overall it's just a micellar lotion i think the word micellar is being overused for what it really is supposed to have meant and why it was created but i don't know i guess drunk elephant likes to call their toner a micellar water because what the heck they can so anyway those are my thoughts on this guy i don't know I don't love it. I don't hate it, but it does kind of rinse off most of the makeup, but it still leaves a bit of a residue that I feel like you have to towel off or use a toner immediately after you get rid of. So I don't know. I'm not doing so good this year with new cleansers. So 
they're just not impressing me. But I guess, you know what, a cleanser that's a good one should be 10 bucks. Should remove makeup, foundation, and not leave your skin feeling dry. But I guess they have to make up a new marketing thing to sell their new toners and micellar waters for 30 bucks, right? So I don't know. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I want to hear from you if you've tried it. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.